Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. Today I am going to be doing a VR to Kelly Bear, um, and it is the top five decks that you just can't live without. So first off, let me just say, I could live without any of them if I had to. I just don't want to. <laughs> so I don't want to live without any of them that I have so far. I don't have that many. Um, I have maybe 12 or 13 tarot decks right now, 13, 14 maybe, it's somewhere around there. So um, these are not going to be in any order. Um, I'm just going to show you my top five right now, and that changes, obviously. Um, so the number one deck that I'm always talking about is the Everyday Witch. I love this deck and I know many of you have already seen all of these. Um, I mean look at that. These really, I mean look at the Hierophant, right? That's awesome. These are just a little sampling. I love these cards. They just speak volumes to me in a fun, uh, not that they can't give you hard lessons sometimes, they absolutely can, but they're just, I guess, easier to swallow. And because of being um, what you would consider a new witch, these are really, really really good. I love them. Another deck that I really, really love is, I just find them so beautiful, and that's uh, Journey into the Hidden Realms. You gotta go potty. Do you want to go out? Huh? All right, give me a second. So yeah, Journey into the Hidden Realms would be another one. These cards are beautiful. They are about, um, it's a very fey or fairy oriented deck. Still Rider weight based or RWS based, but not only are these cards just absolutely stunning, but the book itself and the meanings behind them are so beautiful, so eloquent, eloquently um, spoken. I just had to put this as one of my, my top five. Look at that, look at that fiery red hair. Gorgeous. So that's another one. Another one that I absolutely fell in love with, and I had been eyeing this deck for quite some time. I didn't like the edges, so I did some um, trimming and some uh, edging, but that's the Druid Craft. Look at that. I love these cards. I'm probably gonna do this again, um, maybe next year around this time to see where I'm at. Just beautiful. Sorry, I'm still a little bit shaky. Um, I don't do well with anesthesia, so my body's still like withdrawing stuff from Monday. But yeah, I love this deck. And I love it more since I trimmed it and put the edging. Green is my favorite color, so I just... And there's so much green in this that I had to do the green. Okay, so another one is the Universal Rider Weight. Now, I trimmed this 
and edged it in black. I'm just not big on edges. I mean, trimming. I just don't really care for some of the... Some of them are okay. Some of them are done well, but for the majority, I like having the picture or the artwork go all the way to the edge. Just makes it that much different for me. So yeah, this is the universal rider weight. This is one of them that I like. I'm not necessarily drawn completely to the artwork, but the reason why this is one of them is because I'm still really new to the tarot. So I feel like if you're gonna learn an RW based, um, you know, tarot system that a clone or the universal should be, for me, what I wanna learn on. Because a lot of the books and everything, you know, you're looking at the images and they refer back to these decks, so. That's why. And a year from now, it'll more than likely be different, but that's the way it is right now. And the last one is the Spirit Keepers Tarot. I absolutely adore this deck. Look at that gilding. Ay, caramba. It's so gorgeous. You know, I'm all about the Fool card. Because I think that's what life is all about, is experiencing and seeing how you react to certain things and learning and growing and becoming who you're supposed to be in order to evolve to the next stage. That's how I see the life cycle. So I love that she has given three different cards as the Fool card, which, I mean, I'll try to remember to put a link up above. Or is it this side? I, I can never remember. Um, because I always have to flip mine too because my camera always does like a in a reverse so I have to edit it um, but I'll show you a walkthrough uh, or I'll put the little card up there for the walkthrough of this particular deck so you can see the different because they're all shuffled right now so you can't see all of the different um, fool cards but one of my reasons why I love this deck so much and would not want to be without it is because for one it's a limited edition so once they're gone they're gone unless somebody tries selling it you know if they no longer want it or they purchase several in order to you know hike up the price and sell it whatever for whatever reason um so it would not be so easy to attain it again but it's not just that it's the knowledge that goes into this particular deck from what I understand, and I have not started, I've had so many health things going on that I have not started this course yet. I will be soon. Um, I did get my results back. No C, no C word. So I'm happy with that. So I'm just on the mend right now. But um, this particular deck, she said from my understanding that the pictures are a lot of like RWS, but there's also the underlining Thoth in there, not to mention um, the I Ching, or I think that's how she, she says it. That there's just so many different levels. There's astrology, there's numerology. There's so many things in the symbology of this particular deck and the amount of materials and training materials that come with it, I'm just like all over it. I'm like geeked about this particular deck. And the obvious, it's gorgeous. I mean, look at that. It is just the most gorgeous deck ever. The woman has some mad skills, no doubt about it. Look at that. Mm. So I am really excited to get started with this and this is probably the deck that I really would uh, is my number one I know I wasn't numbering these but this would be my, my number one because it's not going to be so easy in order to get again but also because of the amount of information that this little deck carries and I love all that I love finding you know hidden things and little secrets or um learning about secret societies and 
that's just my character. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. I hope you like this video. Um, thank you, Kelly, for starting this uh, uh, thread or hashtag. Um, I look forward to seeing everybody else's. I've already seen quite a few, but I look forward to seeing more. And if you like this video, give me a like. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, don't forget about the little notification bell if you would like to receive notification of future videos. And I'm sending you always love and light. Thank you so much.